let's take a look at this monumental 19th century book, which is a bound volume, and it's a period half leather binding of this periodical slash journal slash newspaper. There are original marbled end papers like so, and the volume begins with this title here uh, that tells us the first section is uh, essentially a year's worth of this journal. Uh, here is the index that has hundreds of specific references in it. Each issue has a very attractive full page wood engraved cover and there are small uh, illustrations like this within the text found throughout uh, all relating to uh, mechanical engineering, milling, mining, etc. Each issue has at the back this uh, advertising section like so. Then we begin the next issue here for April of 1885. This is uh, like many newspapers and journals of this era, uh, fairly scarce today. Um, and this particular volume is well preserved. It has short little edge tears and spots. Sometimes they're down in the gutter. Uh, but overall, you can see, like there's a short little tear at the bottom of the cover there. But nothing offensive. All these sorts of short edge splits have no loss of any printed area. And they would be, that's very interesting, transportation of goods by electricity, opening of the first Telfer line. Ha ha ha, that's really great. Uh, yeah, this ad leaf for some reason is torn. But all of that's readily mendable with archival tape and a little bit of patience. It's not hard at all uh, to do. And it's just a question of sitting down and spending a little bit of time doing it. Uh, we sometimes do it, but we can't do it to every last item that passes in front of us. The flow is just simply too large, too quick to get bogged down into. Uh, repairing every last edge split of every last item that's coming across our path. <laughs> uh, interesting. Some of these, like, there's a Cuban earthquake right here. That's an interesting, uh, ev like contemporary event. Uh, and here's a ship model shaping machine. Look at that. Yeah, very interesting. Uh, well, I think that uh, this uh, overview gives a sense of the contents. Silver filigree jewelry making here. Um, like so, look at that. Meigs Elevated Railway. Wow, that's great. Ha, circular car, that's great. Uh, but I think you get the idea. And so this is what we have. It does continue actually beyond that first section and it continues uh, here into 1887. Uh, let me get to the final issue so you can see that. Okay, like so. Yeah, here we are. March 1st of 1887 uh, is the final issue. And this monumental book is available now online from me, Brian DeMambro.